You've probably heard the terms tropical disturbance or tropical depression or tropical storm in reference to a developing hurricane on the news. But probably nobody has ever explained what those stages of development really mean. So here's the lowdown. A tropical disturbance is any area of quote unquote disturbed weather over the tropical oceans. It's a weird name, but it can refer to either a tropical wave in the trade winds or literally any cluster or blob of thunderstorms associated with an area of unsettled weather in the tropics. There is no threshold of wind speed associated with a tropical disturbance. But if these thunderstorms stick around and fester long enough over warm tropical waters, it can develop a low pressure center, which causes this wave of winds to close off into a cyclonic circulation or counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. And at this point, the system becomes a tropical depression. The word depression refers to the lower or depressed pressure inside the cluster of thunderstorms. Typically, tropical depressions have maximum sustained winds around 25 to 35 miles per hour. If winds start to increase to at least 34 knots or at least 39 miles per hour, then the system becomes a tropical storm and is given a human name. As the warm ocean waters continue to feed the storm, the storm intensifies. And if the maximum sustained winds increase to at least 64 knots, which is 74 miles per hour, then the system becomes a full-blown hurricane. The term tropical cyclone is a general term used to refer to all stages of development once a closed circulation develops. So basically, tropical depressions and beyond. The journey of a tropical disturbance as it evolves through the tropical depression, tropical storm, and the hurricane stages of life is a complex process that will be a topic of a future video, so stay tuned.